squeezing into my chair. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall over. Today I want to do something different. I often talk about very general beer topics. Today I'm going to talk about one specific beer, and that beer is Pliny the Elder. It is a really, really popular, famous, well-known beer in the craft world. It won Best Beer seven years in a row from the American Home Brewers Association Journal. It has near-perfect ratings on Beer Advocate and Untapped and other beer rating websites, but I've never tried it. So Pliny the Elder is brewed by Russian River Brewing Company, which is based up in Sonoma County, which is better known for wine. Pliny the Elder clocks in at 8% ABV and 100 IBUs, which is really bitter. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Bitterness can be really delicious, so we're gonna see how that manifests. I have taken the liberty of already pouring a little bit so I could get some some pics and video, uh, but I haven't tasted it yet, so what you're about to see is my completely unfiltered original reaction. And I know this isn't the right kind of glass for, for beer, for any kind of beer, let alone this beer, but um, it's what we have. It smells like beer. I mean, yeah, it, it is super hoppy. I'm not getting um, any really crazy out there notes. Sometimes with beers, even beers that are just, you know, hops and malt, you can get like really funky, fruity, or, or other weird flavors or aromas in them. And this I'm getting very straightforward, really rich, but definitely like that's hops, that's hops that I'm smelling. It's just a little bit funky, it's a little, um, woodsy even. Okay, I can I can see why this is so well rated. It's um it's simple and straightforward. Like it's not um an explosion of tropical flavors and, and I mean we're getting especially now the way things are going with IPAs, we're getting a lot of really, really fruity, juicy kind of IPAs with all kinds of super, super aggressive notes in it. And this is so clean and so straightforward, much more than I expected it to be, um, especially considering it's a double or imperial IPA, double IPA. Um, it is not nearly as funky or fruity. It, it tastes so crisp and clean. And I mean that in the best way because there are a lot of beers, sorry, I, my lipstick is getting on the glass and being really gross. I think there's really something to be said for someone who can make a simple style and do it very, very well. And Russian River here, and I mean, they've been brewing this for years and years and years before the IPA trends have become what they are, so it makes sense. But what they've done here is they've brewed a double IPA as simply as possible using just a blend of hops and malt. A beer like this is proof that beer, even double and imperial IPAs, really don't have to punch you in the flavor with crazy piney or citrusy flavors to be really good and really flavorful. This, I mean, in the very best way, this tastes like beer. I know I'm a big advocate for beer that doesn't necessarily taste like beer, but this is, this is that in the best way. Would you like this if you're not a craft beer person? I think someone who likes beer but doesn't know that much about craft beer, like someone who will just, you know, have Miller at parties or whatever, would drink this and be really pleasantly surprised and could, you know, from there take an interest more in craft beer. If you're not a beer person, period, you just don't really like any of the beers that you've had, um, this one might not be for you. This might not be the one to convert you. But then again, who knows? If you get your hands on it, definitely try it. So this is one of the most popular beers in the country and I hadn't been able to get my hands on it for a very long time and I just did. So I'm excited to have tried it. I'm excited to keep drinking it. I don't really like to give numerical ratings, that kind of thing, because there are people who have years and years of study and certification that can tell you better how good a beer is or what it tastes like. But what I can tell you is I like it. It's a really good IPA and it's a good beer for people who like beer. I feel like all the IPAs that I've had recently have been very strong in one way or another, either very, very 
strong tasting of alcohol or of um, dragon fruit and guava or pine or what have you. Um, and this, it's so, it, I, like I, it's very subtly all of those things. There's a little bit of pine in it. There's a little bit of, you know, a floral taste and aroma to it, but it's all so subtle and balanced. Especially at 8% ABV, I was really expecting this to be more of a, a, a punch in the face. But no, this tastes really balanced and really nice. And um, I imagine this would go amazing, amazingly with food, with a lot of different kinds of food. So to answer our question, is super popular beer worth the hype? Yeah, kind of. I think so. I was impressed. But then again, I'm impressed by everything. <laughs> that said, it's not like Pliny the Elder or uh, Russian River are super expensive, insane price points. So if you're willing to spend a little bit more for craft beer, there's no reason why this shouldn't be in your cart. If anyone is a huge fan of Pliny the Elder or Russian River Brewing, let me know in the comments. If you have tried this and you hate it, let me know in the comments. Uh, I hope to do more videos like this, trying out different things, and hopefully someday I'll be able to leave this apartment and take you along with me on um, my quest to try as many beers and visit as many breweries as possible, especially those in California. I moved here just about a year ago and I'm still getting to know the whole craft beer scene, so I feel like this was a very important milestone for me, trying Plenty the Elder. Well, thank you for watching. If you, if you made it this far, let me know if there's any other kind of videos you'd be interested in seeing me make, any other topics, 101 beer questions you'd want me to answer. Whatever, we're just trying different stuff out and trying to, trying to have fun in quarantine, right? We're in month 346 of lockdown or something. May. May. I've hardly been out of the house in six months. Okay, whatever. I hope this was enjoyable or informative uh, in one way or another. If you like me or my face, feel free to like and subscribe and share and tell all your friends and their parents to like and subscribe as well. I'm gonna stop recording now before I, um, I'm, I'm gonna stop now. Okay, bye!